Chapter 3 White Fang <laughs> The world outside the cave was full of surprises for the little gray cub. But his world with his mother was a happy one. Then one morning, the cub woke up and left the cave to run down to the stream for a drink. He was still half asleep after a night out hunting for meat. Suddenly, he saw five strange animals sitting under the trees. They did not jump up or show their teeth, and they did not growl. They sat silently watching him, and he felt very small and weak. The five men were Indians. One of the Indians got up and walked across to the cub. He put out his hand, and the cub growled and showed his fangs. The Indian laughed. Look, he said, white fangs. The other Indians laughed loudly. Bring him here, they said. The first man put his hand near the cub again, and the cub moved quickly to bite it. Immediately, the Indian hit the cub on the head and knocked him to the ground. The four other Indians started to laugh again, but they stopped when they heard a noise. The cub heard it, too. It was his mother coming. The angry she-wolf ran into the middle of the little group and growled loudly. The men quickly moved away from the cub. Then one of them looked at the she-wolf in surprise. Kiche, he called. The she-wolf stopped growling, and a strange light came into her eyes. Kiche, the man said again. And now the she-wolf became quiet and lay down on her stomach. The cub did not understand. He was surprised to see the Indian put his hand on the she-wolf's head, and even more surprised when she didn't bite him. After this, the other men came across and touched the she-wolf and spoke to her. Her father was a wolf, but her mother was a dog, one of the Indians said. Do you remember three eagles? Yes, gray beaver, a second man said. She ran away a year ago. Yes, because there was no food for the dogs, Gray Beaver said. And since then, she has lived with the wolves. He put his hand on the cub, and the cub growled and showed his fangs. Gray Beaver immediately hit him on the nose, and the cub closed his mouth. Then the Indian rubbed the cub's head between the ears and up and down his back. His father was a wolf, Gray Beaver said. This cub is more wolf than dog. His fangs are white, so his name will be White Fang. He is my dog because Kiche was my brother's dog, and my brother is dead. Gray Beaver tied Kiche to a small tree. White Fang watched him, then went and lay down beside his mother. 
After a time, more man-animals arrived. There were about forty men, women, and children, and everyone was carrying something. There were dogs and young puppies, too, and these dogs carried heavy bags on their backs. They saw the wolf cub and ran and jumped on him, but the Indians chased them away. White Fang learned something from this. These man-animals did not bite or fight, but they had power over other animals. The group of Indians started to move away, and a small boy took Kiche and walked with her. White Fang followed them, worried about this new adventure. They walked along beside the stream until it met the Mackenzie River. Here, the Indians made their camp. White Fang watched. For him, it was all new and interesting. He moved away from his mother to look around. After a minute or two, a puppy came up to him. The dog's name was Lip Lip, and he liked to fight. White Fang was ready to be friendly until Lip Lip showed his teeth. Then, suddenly, the young dog jumped at White Fang and bit him three or four times. White Fang ran to his mother crying. To White Fang, the man-animals were like gods. When they walked, he got out of their way. When they called, he came. One day, three eagles got ready to go on a journey up the Mackenzie River, and Gray Beaver gave him Kiche to take with him. White Fang watched Three Eagles take his mother onto a canoe. He jumped into the water and started to swim after them. Come back! Gray Beaver shouted to him. The Indian got into his canoe and went after the cub. It did not take him long to catch White Fang and pull him out of the water. Holding him above the boat, Gray Beaver hit him hard. At first, White Fang was surprised. Then he was angry. He growled and showed his teeth. But Gray Beaver hit the cub harder and threw him into the bottom of the boat. White Fang waited only a second or two before biting the Indian's foot. It was a big mistake. Now Gray Beaver was even angrier. He hit the cub again and again with his hand and with the paddle of his canoe until White Fang was too hurt and afraid to bite him. He followed Gray Beaver to his teepee. That night, he remembered his mother and cried loudly. Gray Beaver woke up and hit him. After that, the cub only cried quietly when the gods were near him. <laughs>